We want to continue our team coverage and while today's reopening, you know, may seem like a big step forward because it is. Rudoso Village leaders want to be very clear. This crisis is not even close to being over yet. Yeah, and those exclusion zones that Monica just talked about, they're still shut down for good reason. Griffin Rushton is here to explain why some residents are still not allowed to go back to their properties. Griffin. Yeah, it's important to remember these wildfires started burning just one week ago, and that means their recovery teams only got to work a few days ago. are destroyed and Lincoln County leaders say that number includes roughly 1,000 homes. Officials already confirmed two people were killed in these fires, but at least 29 more people are still missing right now. It appears village leaders believe they may be in these exclusion zones. Those are the red areas on this map. Village leaders say urban search and rescue teams are still surveying the areas with cadaver dogs and they can't allow returning residents to get in the way of that. We do have a lot of people unaccounted for at this time. I'm not saying that, that they may be at shelter somewhere. We haven't found them. So those will become crime scenes once the, a body's discovered or remnants. Then they have to come in and forensically take care of that. That takes time. So we have all those areas boxed off. Now, village leaders revealed yesterday recovery teams have already identified more potential deaths, but it appears those are still under investigation right now. Of course, we know the FBI is also on the ground right now, but that's for a completely different investigation. The agency is now offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of anyone involved with starting the South Fork and Salt fires. There is no official cause right now, but this new reward strongly suggests both fires are human cause. Now, we know there are many, many theories circulating on social media and around the community right now. We reached out to the FBI today about those theories, but they have not revealed any information about their investigation. Tessa, Trevor.